Hello everyone, so I just wanted to walk through assignment 13-1. Um, in a lot of respects, 13-1 is very, very similar to tutorial 13-1, 13-2, and 13-3, but in some respects it's actually a little bit simpler because you don't need to do as much as you did for the tutorial. So let's do this. The first thing we want to do is open up our assignment 13-1. Now when we're doing this, keep in mind what the project is. We've got a project where we've got a set of graffiti that's been identified. But there's some graffiti that has not been identified yet. And so what our goal is in this particular assignment is to identify the graffiti areas that have not yet been identified, create a network so that the supervisor can drive around and visit all these points of interest to then categorize what type of graffiti this actually is. And this is what I mean. When we right click graffiti calls and take a look at the attribute table, it's going to open up and if we come way down here to the far right where we've got graffiti type code, we've got some graffiti. There's other, tag, throw up. So these points of interest have already been identified. Now if I click on graffiti type code, right click and do sort of sending, you'll notice that we've got some here that haven't been identified at all. These are the graffiti points that are of interest for us in this project. And so when I highlight them all, you can see that these points highlight here on the map so we know exactly what we're dealing with. So what I wanna do again is identify these places. Now when we come here to the assignment, it says build the model. This model, A, identify new graffiti is similar to the model of tutorial 13.1, except you have to design criteria to identify new graffiti. So that's the first thing. How do we create a model which identifies these points of interest? Well, the simplest thing looks like we should just be able to map anything that has a no identifier associated with it. So let's do that. Let's see what happens. So here's my toolbox and my catalog pane. I'm gonna right click here, which is my assignment toolbox, new model. Now this is gonna open up the model window for me. And from the model window, I can start building my model. So um, I don't like working with just halvesies here. So what I'm gonna do is grab my map, drag it down and put it here. Oops. And there we go, put it, put it there. And now I click on model, now I've got full screen. So here's my graffiti calls attribute table. This is what we were looking at. Here's my blank model and here's my map. Now for the model, I want to go to analysis, click tools. We want to make feature layer. And so the make feature layer tool is going to pop up. I'm going to drag it here into my window. It's interesting when I right click now, make feature layer, click open. My input is definitely gonna be graffiti calls. My output layer is gonna be new graffiti. And now we need to come up with an expression. Well, remember, we wanted to create an expression where we're looking at our graffiti type code is equal to nothing. That's what the expression is. We're gonna click OK. Now we're gonna run this thing, but we're gonna get an error. And the reason why we get an error is because you can't have an expression that has nothing in there. It just doesn't work. And so what we need to do, we're gonna remove that. What we need to do is come up with a way to identify those new graffiti areas and we need to be clever with it. If I go back to graffiti calls attribute table, you'll notice again that these areas have nothing in the cell, but everything associated with them is also null. I could in fact create a series of expressions where it's root name is null and and let's see and date approved is null and work time actual is null and i could just create a series of expressions but to be honest with you i think the simplest thing to do is just define these new cells so i'm actually just going to come up here and type in new and so all of these graffiti points that are new i'm just going to type in new and that way the identif or the supervisor will know that this is new stuff and it needs to be reevaluated. So there it is. It's all new. I'm going to clear my selection by the way. So we got all this stuff which is new. Now I go back to my model, click make feature layer, open this guy up. Again, graffiti calls, new graffiti. We're having a new expression and the new expression is going to be 
graffiti type code is equal to new. That's what we want. And so now we're going to right click on make feature layer, click run. It runs the model, no problems. Now we click on new graffiti, add to display. And now it adds it to the display. So there it is. We'll go back to our map. We'll turn off graffiti calls. And here is our new graffiti. These are all of our points that have the symbol or the identifier of new. Let's zoom in here a little bit. So we'll zoom to layer to take a closer look. And here's all of our points of interest. We want to make a new symbology. That's what we were asked to do. So I'm actually just going to come here, click on the symbol. And now we get our symbology window that opens up. I'm just going to choose something that's sort of cool and different, which is Pentagon 3. Because <laughs> why not? So there's Pentagon. But now what I wanted to do was create a symbol layer for this particular symbol, which is new. So all I need to do is right click on new graffiti, come down here to sharing, save as layer file to say yes. And now we can create our layer file, which is new graffiti, and it's saving here in my assignments folder. So now I click save. We've saved that layer file. So now when we come back to our model, now what we're going to do is just like what we did before with the tutorial, we're going to apply our symbology layer or apply symbology. So so we're just going to take apply symbology, drag it into our map here. We're going to arrow down new graffiti into our apply symbology from. Let's open it up. And our input layer is new graffiti. Our symbology layer is that new graffiti layer that we just created. We're going to click OK. Um, here the type will have value field. Source field is graffiti type code. Target field is the same, graffiti type code. And now we just click OK. So that's it. We've got this done. If I click on Run, it executes it just fine. It's done. Um, we're going to put parameter here just like we did for our tutorial. And then we're set. So now we've got our first model done. And again, we come back up here. And it says this model is, we'll, we'll give it a name to identify new graffiti. It's similar to 13.1. We've identified it. We've chose our new symbolization for our graffiti points. It's different than 13-1. We've saved our layer file in the 13-1 folder. Um, and so we can use this in our identify new graffiti model. So again, what I want to do though is let's go to properties for this model. And the name of this model is New Graffiti. And the label is A. Let me see what the label is because I've forgotten already. A, Identify New Graffiti. So copy that. We'll paste that. And so now we're good. So we've got our first model. Everything seems to be working pretty well. We've identified it. Let's go to our modern builder here. We'll click save and there it is, identify new graffiti. So now we've just completed part one of our task. What's next? Next is another model and the B1 model is calculate optimal root starting from home model and B2 calculate optimal root starting from garage. These are both similar to that of tutorial 13-2 except that the home point is used as a starting point in the B2 model. Remember to use Pittsburgh Streets ND as a network data source. So let me move this out of the way. Let me bring back our tutorial, which was right here. And let's skip down all the way here for building our optimal root model. So for the optimal root model, we did a make root analysis layer. And so our model was looking like this. We've got make root analysis and we've got our locations. And so let's start that. Let's create our new model and follow the guidelines of the tutorial. So I'm going to come here. I'm right clicking new. I want a new model. And again, in this model, what we're seeking to do is make a root analysis later because we want our optimal root. And again, we've got two models that we're building. One is starting from garage, one is starting from home. And let me see which one we have to do first. Let's 
so right here, B1 is starting from home, B2 is starting from garage. Okay, let's keep that in our memory <laughs> if we can. All right, here's analysis. We'll come to tool. And now again, we're looking at the following tool, which is make root analysis. Okay, here it is. We're going to drag it into our field here. And here it is. Right click, open it up. Now our network data source is going to be our Pittsburgh streets. Our layer name is going to be root. Our travel mode stays the same. And our sequence is going to be preserve both first and last stop is for accumulate attributes. Again, we're doing time as well. And now we just click OK and we're good to go. We've got this first part of the model done, but what we need to do now is add our locations. And again, remember, we've got two models and the first model we're building is starting from home, ending at garage. The second model is starting from garage, ending at garage. Let me make sure that that's right because <laughs> I keep forgetting for some reason. Okay, yes. Calculate optimal route starting from home. Calculate optimal route starting from garage. Okay, good job. So now what we're going to do is add our locations tool to our model. Here it is. Add locations. And then we just drag it and we drop it. What we're going to do is right click on add locations, open it up. And from this first one, the input network is going to be root. The sub layer is stops. The input location, remember we're starting from home in this model. So we start from home. And we click OK. Then we're going to add another location. Bring it in. And in this location, we're going to right click, click open. Starting at root 2, sublayer is stops. Input location is now going to be new graffiti. Because remember, we want to stop at all the new graffiti points. And we click OK. And then finally, we have to add the final location because we've got to send this thing home to the garage. So we open up. Our input is going to be root 3 because that's where we're starting from. The final location is going to be garage. And now we click OK. So now we have all of the points on our model that we need. Now we've got one more thing to add to our model, and that's our solve tool. Because remember, the solve tool is going to be our network analyst. So let's put the solve tool in here. Let me scroll over. I don't like the location of it. So here's our solve tool. And then from the solve tool, we're going to right click on it, open. Our input is root 4. That's the final one. That's all we need, so we click OK. And we're going to right click on root 5, turn the parameter on, and then also right click on root 5, add to display. So this is the model for, um, what did I say, home to garage. And that's it. And so we're going to save our model. Let's go back to Model Builder and click Save. And then we're going to give it our parameter names. So here's property. And again, this model is um, home to garage. And then the model name is B. And let me get this right. So I'm going to cut and paste again. Calculate optimal route starting from home. Copy that. Paste and then click OK and save and then we're good. So let's run this thing, see what happens. So we're going to click run. It's very exciting. So it'll take a minute. There's a few steps involved. Um, looks like everything's going pretty well. It's done. Let's go back to our map. And here it is. This is the optimal route. Not a very good route, <laughs> but apparently it's the optimal route. Starting from home, going to this spot, then this spot, then these spots. Then it comes over here, 
here, here, and here. So it's an interesting route, but again, that's the route because we had to start from home and go to the garage. So we're gonna make our third model now though, and the third model is gonna be exactly the same as this model, except what we're going to do is just change it. We're gonna start from the garage and end at the garage. You actually don't need to redo this entire model. What we can actually do instead is copy it. So let's copy this model, and then we're gonna come here onto the toolbox, and we're gonna paste the model. So now we've got a second one. Let's rename this model and call this garage to garage. And then this is gonna be C, calculate optimal route starting from garage. And click OK. So now we've saved it. Let's do another save, but now we've got to change it, of course. So everything here is gonna pretty much stay the same. And the only difference is, let's right click on this ad location and we're gonna change home to garage. Okay, everything else stays the same. Okay, so here's my last model. I'm going from garage to garage. Um, we validate it, because why not? And then we can click run. And so we're gonna run this model. It should then pop up and give us our optimal route starting from the garage and ending at the garage. So let's see what happens. Um, it's all done. Let's go to our map and here it is. So let's zoom in to our layer. And this is the new route starting from the garage and ending at the garage. Um, if you'll recall, well, we can't see it when I do this, but the garage was where number one is. <laughs> so wherever one is, that's where the garage is. So it's right around how many stops are there. So the garage is here. Remember home was way over there. So that's why the home was sort of funky. But this is the new route. So we're starting here, it looks like, going in this direction, grabbing all these spots. This is sort of the strange area. I guess you can't just hop over because of the streets and then you come back. So that's it. So when we take a look at the project, what we needed to do, create a Word document called Assignment 13-1, your name. And in it, we're gonna have screenshots of our model. We've got our three models. This one, this one, and this one. And then of course, we're gonna have our maps. And so when we come down here to what we need, we need to have this model ready to run. We did it, uh, make feature layer, showing we, you can go back and do that about the feature layer. We did model B1, and then we've got our two maps, and you're gonna to wanna to take imagery of those two maps. You can just do screenshot, that's fine, and then add that in your Word document. All right, so that's it. Um, that was the project assignment 13-1, and again, it's just a matter of really following the tutorial. Then the first step, identifying which areas you want to map, that was sort of the key to this project. All right, if you have any questions, Please let me know. Bye-bye.